All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Global Top English Seminar today. My name is Luke Kim, and I'll be your host for today. So hopefully everyone's prepared to listen in and to learn about Atomy through the products and the speakers that we have today. But before I begin with our company model, let me just introduce you to our translator, Diamond Master Muset. Okay. And now, if you're all ready, let us go ahead and go into the company model. All right, let's begin. Is everyone ready? Go. Yes. Cherish the spirit. <laughs> Create the vision. Follow the vision. Follow the faith. Humility. Serve in humility. Aja. 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 Okay. All right, thank you very much. So let us start off with our first speaker. We have a pro product presentation done by sales master Crystal here today. Hopefully we'll have we'll be able to listen in very deeply so we can learn more about the products ourselves so that we can either be interested in using it and learn about it once we try it as well, or be able to understand more about the products that we're already using. So uh, right now we have Crystal doing the presentation for us. And uh, hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Crystal and I'm so grateful to have been given the privilege to talk about some Atomy products today. Uh, first, let's talk about Atomy toothpaste and its advantages to show you more reasons why you should be using Atomy toothpaste. Um, before I started using Atomy toothpaste, personally, I was using the ones from Shoppers Drug Mart, and I find them way too strong and sometimes irritates my gums. So when I tried using Atomy toothpaste, I was very satisfied with the quality, and also it has the really good advantages like dental plaque removing effect, tartar deposition preventing effect, dental cavities preventing effect, and bad breath removing effect. So let's dive in a bit deeper to know exactly how each of these advantages are good for our oral health. Um, plaque refers to a layer of bacteria attached to the tooth surface and forms in lumps, as you can see on the um, illustration. And so Atomy toothpaste has the proper amount of silicon dioxide, which helps remove dental plaque. Um, tartar causes um, gingivitis, inflammation, especially when it is not taken care of. So it is important to use Atomy toothpaste as it contains sodium terophosphate, which prevents tartar deposition. Um, it also removes bacteria that accumulates over time on our teeth surface. And the good thing is that Atomy toothpaste has xylitol, which reduces tooth decay and incidence of gum disease. Um, it also helps remove bad, bad breath, which is amazing. It doesn't just help keep our teeth clean and healthy, but also keeps our mouth fresh. Um, what makes Atomy toothpaste so special compared to other brands? Well, it's because it has two main ingredients that are very healthy for our oral health. So the first main ingredient is green tea extract. Green tea extract has antioxidation and antibiotic, which are both effective for um, removal of bad breath by deodorizing um, action. Uh, the second main ingredient is propolis. So propolis extract came from honeybee and it has antibacterial and anti-inflammation effect to reduce growth of various bacteria and viruses. And um, for product info, member price for the toothpaste is $25 plus tax. TV is 4,000, and in one set, there are 200 grams per tube, and there are five tubes in each set. 
Um, there's also another version, which is a smaller packaging. One tube is 50 grams, and there are four pieces in one set, and it, it goes for $9 plus tax and 3000 worth of PV. Um, so the next product we're going to talk about is Atomy Toothbrush. So um, yes, today is going to be all about oral health products. Um, Atomy Toothbrush is very effective in terms of cleaning our teeth and um, keeping our gums healthy. And there are three main reasons why. So the first feature is that the Atomy brush is soft and flexible with 0.18 millimeters thickness and it is ovalized and has been technically modified at the end with a slim size under 0.03 millimeters, which makes it effective to remove plaque and residues that are stuck in our teeth. Um, it also provides a deep, refreshing feeling for our teeth and gums after brushing. Um, on top of that, the brush formula contains antibacterial membrane and is effective even when it is not being used because it can keep the brush itself clean. Um, the next feature is that the brush is slim and round head, so this makes brushing so much easier and also helps reach the back of our teeth for complete oral cleaning. Um, and of course, it is made with a comfortable handle for easy grip and which definitely makes brushing so much easier. Um, the handle is a non-rubber material that is a diamond cut. It is nature friendly and free from chemicals. And for this one, product info, member pricing is $13 plus tax. This is in Canadian dollars, by the way. Um, PV is 5,000 and there are eight pieces in one set. Um, there's also another version. This is like a, a travel package. So uh, you can bring it anywhere with you and it has a case, a small version of the toothpaste. And uh, what's cool about it is it comes with an interdental brush. So this one uh, goes for um, $19 plus tax in Canadian dollars. Uh, PV is 7,000 and in one set there are four pieces. So um, all these products are very affordable and um, it's easy to recommend it to our friends and family because they are very high quality as well. So as you already know, it's very important to take care of our oral health. So knowing all these advantages of Atomy toothpaste and toothbrush compared to other brands that might contain harmful ingredients, it's easier to recommend these to our friends and family. And so that is the end of our product presentation today. Thank you so much for listening. I think we need to give her another round of applause. Thank you very much for explaining to us two amazing products that we have. Uh, the perfect pair, if you can say, in Atomy's products, toothpaste and toothbrush. So they are clearly defined products that no one without a doubt can say is absolute quality and absolute price with the ingredients and the way they created it and making sure that it's safe for us to use uh, both orally as well as uh, when we utilize it ourselves or when we're not using it when it's on the shelves. Obviously, it's bacteria free. So utilizing non-chemical ingredients, making sure we have the best products, we can see it through the toothpaste and toothbrush that we have. And to make sure they're able to accommodate each consumers, there's different types of sizes toothbrush as well that are currently available. I think most of you have heard of the compact, there's the kids toothbrush and all that allowing us to fit through our oral uh, care properly so that we can get the best, best clean, cl cleansing with our, for our teeth because we want to keep our oral health healthy in doing so overall our physical health will be there as well so thank you very much for the amazing presentation for the product crystal and now we have another presenter who will give us a very clear lecture on how we're going to create our lineage by understanding how we create our lineage we can create synergy and teamwork 
and allow us to succeed quicker, faster, and without uh, creating too much mistakes, we're able to go into success uh, more directly. This is a, a lesson that uh, he will give us on how to take a step-by-step -step in creating our lineage so that our team can grow successfully even more. So we have our Diamond Master, Daniel Kim. Uh, hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Hi. Can we just uh, say hello to everyone? Yeah, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we have different people from everywhere around the world today joining us as well. Another great uh, Thursday. And so I hope that, you know, your business is going well, right? This is the a little bit over the halfway point of the year, right? It is almost at a halfway point. And soon uh, by the end, it will be the end of 2023, right? And so I want us to kind of uh, reflect, right? This is a good time for us to have a point of reflection on where we are, where we want to be, and how close is it that we've gotten there, right? You know, is, is your goal somewhere, you know, I want to be sales master uh, by the end of, this year, then how close are you to becoming a sales master? How close are you to becoming your goal of whatever mastership you plan, right? And then think about it and then see like, okay, am I actually close, right? Am I doing the things that are necessary, uh, paying the sacrifices that are necessary for me to become the desired mastership or desired goal that you wanna be? And if the answer is no, then I think it's a good time for you to reflect on what you may be doing wrong, right? If the reason why your business is not doing uh, well is if, and you think that it's because of your partners or because of your sponsors, then I will want to help you think about it again and say that maybe it's not because of them, but because it's you. You're not the one putting in the necessary work, the necessary hard work to actually get there, right? And so Atomy is truly an amazing company, right? Even the product presentation earlier by our sales master Crystal, you can see that Atomy puts in a lot of thought into every product they make, right? I didn't notice how much detail they put into it until today uh, when the, we had the product presentation that the, the, tooth pay, uh, the toothbrush, they make it so it's very comfortable, right? Uh, if you've ever used a toothbrush that you've gotten from like your dentist, or you bought it from shoppers or whatever uh, retail store, you will notice that it's very thick at the top where the head is. And then it's also very uncomfortable when you brush because the brush is very hard. And also the, the grip, it usually when you put it inside your cup or whatever holder, it starts to grow bacteria on it because there's water and stuff like that, right? But if you notice in Atomy's toothbrush, there's never ever any bacteria, even if you put it inside your cup for a long period of time and it's so comfortable to use, right? So all of these things, Atomy puts in a lot of thought to create these products so that way it benefits you. And then the price as, as well, compared to what you quality you're getting is very, very affordable, I'd say, right? And so a lot of the times that we forget, we think that, oh, okay, just a toothbrush. I use it every day. You know, it's just a shampoo. I use it every day. And we don't think about the value that we get in Atomy's products. But if you truly sit down and understand where Atomy is and how it came to be, then you'll start to see the bigger picture of what Atomy is providing, right? The products, the quality, then you'll start to appreciate it more, right? I was like, oh, Atomy is giving me something that I can't easily get from anywhere else. So then I can feel more appreciated about these products and I'll be able to share that same love and appreciation of Atomy to my partners, to my customers. And they'll realize and they'll feel that, right? If you have no love for Atomy and then you go to your friends and then you say, oh, Atomy is like this, blah, blah, blah. And then they say, oh, I don't want it. Then you'll easily feel rejected. And then you'll be like, okay, maybe Atomy is not for me, right? But if you truly love Atomy, then you won't even care if they say no, because eventually you'll know that they'll come around to say yes, because that's the power of Atomy. And so today I'm going to be talking about the line management, right? And so to manage our line is pretty much the backbone, right, of Atomy, because if you don't know how to manage your lines properly, 
then you're going to have a very difficult time in growing your business because everything is going to go everywhere, right? And you want to have a very strong system built if you want to succeed in Atomy. And so let's take a look at today's uh, lecture. And so once again, uh, let, I'll be covering the uh, how to build on your in your li lines and how to manage them uh, so that you can build for success in Atomy. And so just like this picture, teamwork is key in order to build your Atomy business and successfully uh, at that as well. Right. And so one key factor of building your business is to consult with your sponsors in order to learn how to properly and correctly place your business partners and consumers. Right. Many people uh, think that they don't need the help and they can just do it themselves. But later on down the road, they'll realize that they made a mistake because they did not consult their sponsors. Your sponsors has already made those mistakes before, has already gone down that road before. And so they have more experience and knowledge to share with you on how you can properly place your partners so that you don't make the same mistakes. Why? Because they want you to succeed, right? Because if you succeed, they succeed and everyone else is also able to succeed. And so lineage is really important, whether that is in this business, whether that is in a, any sort of life or are building a family or building even those hundred year old businesses as well, lineage is a very important factor. And so here we'll be looking at the British monarch lineage, right? So the British monarch lineage, if you don't know, it's about the kings and queens, uh, well, mainly kings uh, and their families, their lineage, right? And so if you can see here, we have the very first king at the very top, right? King James uh, the sixth. And, uh, and he grows and gives birth and then his lineage of King Charles and so forth. And then we have their, their Princess Elizabeth and so forth. And this lineage grows on and on and on and on. And so you can see the kind of like the a British monarch. And so when you look at this, and I want to ask a question for a monarchy, is it a great thing if they have a deep rooted history or if it is very short, right? If you want to think about that, I think the answer is cl pretty clear. Right? It's, it's important for us to have a deep lineage so that they may continue to have a deep history, but also give reassurance to the country's citizens with its stability. If the king's uh, lineage always changes, the people would be worried about the country's future. And the same thing about, you know, your family business. Let's say you own a very big family business and then you pass it on to your kids and then their kids and then their kids and so forth. But somewhere along the line, if those kids don't want to do the business and then gives it away, then your lineage will be broken. Your history will be broken, right? So in order not to do that, you pass on these traditions and then your children will be excited to accept these traditions. And, you know, they continue to do that for generations and generations. And that's why there's some of these businesses out there who are older than 100 years out there, right? But if you want to make a business today, there's no guarantee that your business will last a hundred years, especially with today's economy, uh, economy and uh, the struggles and financial situations, uh, you know, and with the rise of inflation, everything makes it very difficult, right? And so if you don't already have a very successful business, then it's hard for you to succeed in any sort of uh, things. And then you only have the option of working for someone else and being someone else's laborer. And then you make them money while you just receive a small wage and you work a miserable time just to satisfy someone else's greed, right? And so if that is the life that you choose and you're satisfied with that, then there's no complaints. But if you hate that lifestyle, if you want to break out of that, then Atomy, I think, is the only solution for you where you don't really need to have a capital to start and then you can build on that to really reach your level of success. And so, so the same thing applies to Atomy, right? The deeper your lineage is, the stronger it will be. So it depends on what you do with your lineage. You could either have a strong root that will break or you can have a wide lineage and that will shake with just a little breeze 
And so building a strong lineage is possible because anatomy only allows for two lines to be built per person. And so you have to just go down that line per person, and that is how you build upon your anatomy business. And so our, our goal should be uh, not be a tree with just leaves at the top and very shallow roots, but a really deep rooted tree, right? With infinite lines so that we won't break. Even if the, you have the hardest storms coming, you'll still be safe, right? If you're a tree here, like on the one on the left, where you just have a lot of leaves, but very small roots, then that means that you've only looked for superficial results, only immediate results, right? There's a quickly, I want to be sales master. And then you sacrifice your partner's uh, you know, happiness, your customer's happiness, so you can quickly become successful. But then when you know, uh, difficulties come, then you're like, oh, maybe this is not for me. Or you run away. Or you be like, oh, sponsor, maybe at next time. Or maybe I'll do this maybe another time. Or I'll just take it slow, right? But if you do all those kind of things, you'll never be successful in any business you do, not just at any, right? If that's the way you take life and that's the way you do it, you abuse people, you use people, you put yourself first, then you'll never reach the success that you ever dream of. You'll always be someone else's employee, right? And so you want to build a very deep roots, deep, deep, all the way down. And then, you know, you want to, even if you don't see immediate results, just like that small tree in the middle, you might not see results right away. And that's the pretty much like all network marketing businesses, it starts slow. But once you start to roll the ball and it starts to pick up, that's when you start to grow really quickly at one point. It just getting to that point can be very difficult. But that's the part where you have to rely on the system and your sponsors for that help. And so here are some things that I want for us to, uh, you know, kind of keep, right? Rules that I want to keep uh, that can help you to grow your business, right? And so uh, the first one is like in the beginning, many people uh, who first join Atomy, they think that they have to start looking for people to help. But the best way to grow is to succeed yourself and then afterwards help others once you are successful. Right. And so let's say you have a new partner that joined and they live in another city or country. Right. And they start. So they just started. So it's just not practical for you to fly all the way to where they are just to help that one partner when they haven't already started doing the business full time or they haven't made money uh, consistently. Right. And so let's say that you have a partner who lives all the way in. Uh, let's say I have a partner that lives in Korea and then that partner just started out and they're interested in the business. And so because of that, I was like, oh, maybe there'll be a potential partner and I go all the way there, right? It's going to be costing me time and money that I don't have a lot of to spend, especially in the beginning. So you got to be very wise and smart with how you spend your resources, right? So from your connection, you should start to look for those around you first to make into your leaders. And that's how you help them grow and you help them uh, achieve a certain level of success. And then from there, you slowly grow your lineage through their connections. And then you start to move further out into different cities and then even eventually globally to other countries, right? And so the reason for this is once, you, once you're grown and with your sponsor's help, it'll become much easier to grow quickly. But if you start to add people in uh, other countries right away, so that way you can start to do this business and thinking that they're going to do the business, then you're going to be very, uh, going to be facing a very uh, harsh reality, right? Because the truth is Atomy business is not for everyone, right? The majority of people that you give Atomy to, they're only interested in the products, right? And then from those products, the people continue to use it. Eventually, maybe one or two people will realize that, wow, this is actually really amazing, right? The products have more to offer, maybe I can use this as a business. Then that person is going to be more inclined to join and do this business together. But if you start to invite them right away and then be like, oh, just do this business, it's gonna make you money, you know, it's amazing, it's free to start, right? And then they don't know anything about the products, then they might start it, but they'll quickly give up because they don't have a strong belief in the Atomy system. 
And so the same connections, uh, it's also important for us to sign up in the same line, right? So people, uh, you know, you have together, please group your connections together and have them sign up together in the same line. If they are from your school, uh, same school, make sure they are on the same line. If they are your family member, do not split them up and keep them in different lines. Keep them in the same line, right? Same with your coworkers, right? Group them together. Right. So write, write it down. It's like, OK, I have uh, co-workers. I have, you know, this person, this person, this person in this group. And then it's, oh, I have a family member who is in this group, in this group. And you write it down and you have two different groups and then you add them each on different lines together in that same group. Right. And so the reason why we do this is because people will start to fight each other uh, over each other and will cause your groups to break down in the future. So there was a sponsor who found someone in, in Indonesia, and then they seemed like a great leader and had a lot of potential. And so that uh, couple was excited to work, right? The sponsor was really excited because they, they found a couple in Indonesia. They're really excited to work. And so they he left them there. And then a month later, he checked up on them and asked them how they were. And they say that they are no longer going to do this business. So then from that time, from now to the month, that he checked up on them, what happened, right? So what happened was that the couple went to their church uh, to sign people up. And so instead of signing people up in the same group, they signed them up all in different lines each, which caused a major issue. And thus the group was no longer able to do business and add, do atomy, right? Because they got greedy. They thought like, okay, we have to do two legs. So I'm going to add this person here, this person here, this person here like this. Then I can maximize my income potential. But eventually that group broke down because everyone was fighting each other. It was like, oh, how come you're there? How come I'm there? Right. And it just became a really big problem. So please, you know, if you have same groups, keep them in the same uh, leg. So that way you don't have those kind of issues. And so the must do for both legs, no matter what is, you know, whether your sponsor says they will do one leg for you or not, eventually that can work against you. And so you will just be hurting your own growth. So you have to do both legs, right? Doing two legs is normal in atomy, right? But many people forget to do that. They think that, okay, I can just focus on one leg and I'll be okay. But that's just like, going to your job and then only doing half the work. If you only do half the work, then will your boss fire you or not fire you? I'd say he'll fire you, right? Because you're doing only half the work. So it's the same thing for Adam. If you only do half the work, then you're only going to get half the success, right? And so you have to do both legs, regardless of whether your sponsor is there to support you or not. The sponsor supporting you, you just think of it as like a bonus. You just get a bonus from your sponsor to help you. But other than that, you still have to do both your legs because it's your own business. And so without both, line, both lines, having your own connection, it will cause your growth to stop. And eventually at some point, it will be very difficult for you to grow. And so this is your own business. And if you leave it up to someone else for your success, it will inevitably lead to your downfall and failure. So please do both legs regardless of what your sponsor has said before in the beginning or invited you to do this business, do both legs so that way you can survive regardless. And so the next thing is that things we have to watch out for. And so here are some things that I want us to kind of be uh, watchful for uh, in Atomy because they are 100% a gateway to failure if we do this, right? And so um, the first thing is to do not make lineages for those who are just a customer, right? Because this is going to have a very big, big negative impact on your business and slow you down. So example of this is that you have, let's say, a son or a daughter who you love. So you add them under you and then you start to make two lines under them because you want them to make money, even though they are not interested in doing the anatomy business, right? So let's say, you know, you have a son and you love him so much, you want him to succeed, right? He's having a hard time in his job, right? And so you make two lines for him thinking that eventually he might be interested, but then later down the road, he still doesn't have any interest in doing the anatomy business. Then what will happen? This will have a significantly negative impact on your partners because you are creating a unfair advantage to those who are actually working hard, right? 
Uh, humans, naturally, we do not like anything that is unfair. In a situation where we're on, like being mistreated, we will not be happy about it. We might either quit, we might you know, say that, oh, boss, how come you're mistreating me, right? The, the, that's the majority of people uh, that, you know, that's how we act, right? And it, if you have this kind of system, and uh, we create this unfair system, and then they realize you're only helping your son or your daughter grow quickly, then they'll feel like it is a broken system. So no matter how hard they work, they will not properly get to receive your support and help that they deserve. And then eventually your line will grow sideways and not downwards and cause your business to fail. And so always consult with your sponsors as a beginner, right? This is a, the key to success because you are just a baby when you first start this business. You are not an expert, right? If, if, even if you are a sales master or a diamond master, you're still a baby, Right. Maybe once you are a royal master, can you be considered an expert? But until then, you should always consult your sponsor. And even after you're a royal master, you should consult your sponsors because, you know, that they're still the, the ones that are, you're going to be working together with since this is a team business. And so this person here uh, is, as you can see, they advised to do two lines, right? This picture here, but they firmly believe that they had to do it like a pyramid structure. Maybe they did MLM business before, they did network marketing before, and the, they thought that, oh, okay, this is another a pyramid like structure. So I just have to build like a pyramid, just do two and then build on two again on beside those two people and so forth and so forth. Right? And so this is a matrix system that they're doing. And this person did not even last six months before quitting, right? And so that person wasn't able to make any partners or royal customers and ended their business. And so why do you think this structure fails, right? The answer is that you being at the top, there's a limit to how much you can do for your lines, right? You're supposed to send down points on your left and right leg, right? Correct? We both have one leg each. But what about those people in between that you've just added, right? So the people in between that you've added here, as you can see, like this person or this person or this person, right? These people that you just added uh, to think that you're doing a pyramid-like uh, scheme, then what's going to happen to those people? Because you can't focus on one specific line on each side, you eventually become tired and exhausted because you're spreading yourself too thin. Right? It's getting very difficult to manage all your different partners in different legs. And so the one who wants you to succeed the most is your sponsor. Right, So who is that sponsor? They're the ones that attend the system, love the products, and does the business properly. Not the person who just signed you up. Right, So don't confuse yourself with the person who signed you up if they're not actually doing the business. Right, Being involved in the system and learning about the business is key to succeeding in Atomy. Right? If you think that you can just do it the same way you did any other business or like any other network marketing business, you're going to be in a very, very difficult situation later down the road. And you're only gonna realize it later on. And you, then you're gonna be like, okay, it's too late. And I have to now quit or go back and start all over. Right? So it's important for us to start with the right foot forward. And so there is another uh, few examples I want to share of what we should encounter and how we should tackle these sort of uh, situations. And so here is one of the problems where is that you're doing only one line, right? So uh, here uh, you can see that I have myself at the very top, right? This is me right here. And then we have Mr. Kim who came along, right? Mr. Kim right here, he wants to do the business and he says like, oh, I want to do the business. And I, so I tell Mr. Kim, oh, he can just work on one leg, right? Just this leg. He can just work on that leg and I will focus on his left side, right? Then isn't that very easy for Mr. Kim? He just has to focus on one leg and then I will do the left side. And then this will, uh, you know, cause a problem uh, because it looks easy in the beginning. And because I made that promise to Mr. Kim, I have to start adding uh, those people. 
onto his left side. But as I focus on Mr. Kim's left side, my own uh, left side is being neglected right here because I'm so busy building Mr. Kim's left side, right? And so then, uh, you know, I eventually I'm going to have to stop helping Mr. Kim and then work on my left side so that way I can also grow my business. So then now Mr. Kim, uh, you know, on his left side, he has none of those people are his own partners. They're all my partners. And then, uh, you know, when he wants to do any sort of sponsorship activities on this line, he doesn't know who he can do it to because none of them are his partners. And then it will just cause bigger headaches down the road when he decides to challenge for masterships because he has no proper partners on his left side. And so now this person appears, uh, let's say, with both legs grown. And so that person doesn't even work, but they are able to get money, right? And this will now become a complete mess, right? So this person grows and then he has two legs here, right? So then this person, we refer to them as pigs, right? So this person is a pig. And then what happens to now Mr. Lee? Mr. Lee comes out again. So you have another business partner and he wants to do the business, but because the sponsor above Mr. Lee is not working and Mr. Kim is not his sponsor, right? They will all come to who? To you, to me, because I was the one that signed them up and I can't help them because I'm already busy growing my own two legs, right? And so then that's going to cause a big problem for Mr. Lee because he'll not be able to get any sort of support. So then, you know, they will eventually quit or move somewhere else, right? So you must always keep in mind to do both legs because this business is your business, right? Not anyone else's business. So if Mr. Kim wants to succeed, he should be doing both sides, his left and his right side so that he can receive all the benefits and work properly to build the correct business. And so here's another example that we might uh, face. So this is another problem uh, that is uh, co correlated with adding members into a non-partner line. So I talked about this earlier. And so we'll, let's take a look at this scenario. So now we have this scenario. Uh, so the customer is someone you know, like your sibling, right, or your brother, your, your son, your daughter, or your child, your partners, right, and they do not work and do this business. They are just a customer, and you care about them a lot. You want them to make money, so you start to add members down their legs, right, you start to add this person here, and three, and four, so forth, and then, so then now, what would Mr. Kim think? Mr. Kim would probably feel angry, right, because Mr. Kim is working hard, right? He's building both legs here. He has partners that he's doing. Uh, but then my own sponsor, his own sponsor, instead of building up the people that are actually doing the business, he's focused on building his family, right? The sponsor, I am focused on building and helping my brother, my sister, or my you know cousins or whoever, instead of helping the people that are actually working like Mr. Kim. And so that is going to cause a view of an unfair advantage, right? So in this view, Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee, this is not fair, right? Mr. Lee and Mr. Kim will both be angry. And then this is going to be causing a lot of dislikes to their sponsors. And you're going to cause friction in your group and your teamwork will fall apart, right? So it's important for us to grow it properly. Otherwise, if you do this, your lineage will grow really slowly or and eventually these people like Mr. Kim who are actually working will leave. And if they leave, then that'll be a bigger problem for you since you've lost a big partner, right? So if you really want to help those special customers, do that after you are really big, right? Like your royal master or your crown master, then you can help your sons, you can help your you know cousins or whoever, but before then, it's important for you to build your own uh, legs properly and help your partners properly, right? So then what should you do? You just have to build your legs like this, right? So by adding them all on your own people under one line, right? As you can see, instead of having M2, M3 here, I added them all under Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee 
in the same line, going all the way down, doing driving that depth, right? Building that driving depth, right? And so then in Atomy, you can go to the very bottom to add points because everyone benefits. So if I add points in M4, it's going to benefit Mr. Lee, it's going to benefit Mr. Kim, right? It's going to benefit everyone at the top. And so everyone's going to benefit, even the person at the very top who's a customer, even if they don't have anything, eventually, if they do start to do this business, it'll benefit them in the long run. So in, it's very important for us to follow this and to continue to build our business deeper and deeper so that your group will grow stronger, right? If you build it sideways like this in the picture on the left, then you'll start to have a lot of issues down the road. But if you build it like this, then you won't have to worry about that kind of problem because you're giving support to everyone who actually is working hard and to even those customers who are not really interested, they also be benefiting from this. So Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee will feel like this is going to be a fair system and then they'll work even harder to grow their own legs. And so, uh, you know, it's important for us to make deep rooted lines, right? So here's another example. You are working hard following your line. And now you have two new partners and they came out, right? And so we have Mr. Lee, Mr. Kim. And so you ask you, they ask you to pe put people under them because they have no one. Right, and so you add uh, these people underneath them, right? Mr. Underneath Mr. Lee's left side and Mr. Lee's right side, and then even Mr. Kim's uh, right side, thinking that, right, because they begged you so much that this is going to help them, right? So the people I've added are all my own customers, right? They're all my partners and not Mr. Lee's or Mr. Kim's partners. So in the end, who has to take care of them? I have to take care of them, right? I have to be the one responsible for them and I only have a limited amount of resources and money to take care of them. So I can't take care of them, all these different partners in different legs and in different lines, right? And it's going to be a really difficult for me. And so what should you do, right? If your partner comes to you and says like, oh, please help me find someone, add someone underneath me, then instead of doing what uh, I did here in the beginning and adding it all in different lines, you should just do it like this. Just go all the way down, right? And so you just build on one leg and go all the way down. So then if you have a business partner that appears, please teach them to build both, left, uh, both legs, right? Their left and the right legs, because in the end, this benefits both Mr. Lee and Mr. Kim, right? They might think that you're not helping them because you're not adding partners on this side and you know on this side as well, but in the long run, this is ultimately going to help them because it's going to make their left leg much stronger, which will allow them to, uh, you know, be able to focus on their right leg for a bit before coming back to their left leg, right? And so it's a really important for us not to spread ourselves so thin and add partners everywhere that our partners are asking for, because eventually you're just going to cause bigger headaches for you and waste more time because you're gonna to have to reorganize your groups all over again to fix this kind of mistakes. So it's important for us to do this from the uh, correctly from the beginning. So then how do you do that, right? I mentioned it before, we talk to our sponsors. The sponsors are the ones that bring you to the correct path, right? Not the people that signed you up, uh, if, they're, if they are the sponsors that signed you up and they're actually doing the hard work and attending the system, then yes, they're your sponsors. But if they aren't your sponsors that signed you up, uh, and that's fine too, right? They could be the people above your sponsor that signed you up and the, above them as well, right? Because everyone uh, above you is your sponsor technically. And so you can rely on them to get advice uh, you know, be able to listen and how uh, you can grow your lineage properly. And that alone will make a big impact on how you grow your business, right? So I hope that, you know, this helps you understand how you can properly build your lineage without you making uh, simple mistakes, right? Avoiding these crucial mistakes that could uh, this potentially destroy your business future. Right, and that way you can build on to a much better and more uh, happier Atomy uh, future. And so, thank you all for listening from my uh, lineage lecture, and I hope you all enjoyed it today.
Thank you very much for the lecture on creating our lineage. Because it's very important, we must understand that we are in a uh, business that we work together with. We're not doing it ourselves. We can't be selfish and be like, just for my success, I'm going to make it perfect for me, but I don't care about the people underneath us. We can't think that way. We must think ahead as well as in the present and making sure that the people that we're working with can work the best as well. Because if they're able to succeed quickly and easily and comfortably and work together with the people that they know, that means you're on your way to success even quicker, faster than than you have ever have thought of. So that is the reason why we must keep our lineage proper and build it structurally so that we must we be able to kind of leverage on it because that is how the business is built on. And I don't know if you were here with us in the beginning, but we were watching a video on Rebecca here in Canada that was speaking and she was t t teaching us uh, about how there's a breakdown of PEV and commission that we're able to gain. And so our goal is to make sure that they're able to gain this benefit properly, consistently, uh, okay, uh, automatically, or in that sense, that is the setup that we're creating. Of course, there's our commission as well, but we're not ignoring the, all the people that are getting the commission underneath us for the work that they're doing. Of course, if we give it for free, then it's all of our work that we're giving into them, not the cooperative work that we're doing. So the lineage is an important topic to understand so that we can grow our business. Of course, Diamond Master Daniel Kim has explained wonderfully for us. And of course, it's not a simple thing. We can't just listen one and like, we got it. We can do this now all on our own. We still have our system created. We have our sponsors and partners. We work together to make sure things are not going to be always exactly the same. We're not going to have the exact scenario. We're not going to have the uh, situation where like, it's not going to be cut in stone where we have to put in one person on the right and one person on the left. It's not going to be as the, the case. So we discuss, we plan out, we execute strategies and lay out so that we can work with uh, the people around us as well. So hopefully this won't be the last time you listen into the lineage creation. You look into yourself, discuss, and help grow that team that you have. So once again, thank you all of you, all of you for joining us on our Global Top English Seminar. This is the end of our meeting. So we're going to go ahead with our company model and then end it with a photo. And please stick to the photo so we can take a group photo of everyone. All right. All right, I'll give some time if people want to turn on their mic. Uh, let us do the company model all together. Let us begin. Yes. Is everyone ready? Yes. Go. Cherish the spirit. Cherish the spirit. Cherish the spirit. Follow the faith. Follow the faith. Serve in humility. Serve in humility. Aja. 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 Serve in humility. All right. Aja. Thank you very much. So on three, I'll be taking the photo. One. Two, three. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful day, night, and evening. Hope to see you again next week. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank